How 43 Mexican Students Disappeared in September of 2014 A panel of international experts investigating the disappearance of 43 Mexican students in 2014 has announced what they say really happened on the night the students went missing. The students hijacked a bus as it stopped outside a restaurant on a road on the outskirts of Iguala. The bus driver tricked the students and drove them back to the central bus station before locking them in the bus. The students were freed by their classmates in two other buses that later arrived at the station. The students stole five buses in total and left for Ayozanapa. Three buses took the northern beltway while two traveled south. Police then started pursuing the three northbound buses and fired warning shots in the air. Some students left the buses and threw rocks at a police car blocking their path until it drove off. A student allegedly tried to disarm a police officer but failed. He was struck by a ricocheted bullet. The students had to lie flat on the floor of the buses as police continued firing on them. Major shooting took place when students got off the buses and tried to lift a police cruiser that was blocking their way. At least three students were shot and wounded. Police officers then took away the students, who were among the 43 that disappeared, in six or seven patrol cars. Police also intercepted the two southbound buses by firing tear gas inside one of the buses. The students were pulled from the bus and taken away. These comprised the rest of the missing 43 students. The students in the other southbound bus received tips about the police attacks before they got off the bus and fled into the woods. The students were undergraduates at a teacher's college in Ayozanapa, which has a history of activism. 